Fusion 360's 2D contour will help you bring your part to size with just a few mouse clicks. In a previous video we used 2D Adaptive to rough this part and in this video we will quickly apply two finishing tool paths. I will select 2D contour from the ribbon bar and we are presented with the properties on the right side. The five tabs are always the same in Fusion 360. They stay in the same order and has the same functions no matter what type of toolpath you use. This is done so it will be much easier to learn and remember using Fusion. The first tab is always where you select your tool and input your feet and speeds. Let me click on the tool button to access the tool selection area. There will be another video on the tool library but let me just give you a quick tour. To the left we have our filter. Here we can change such things as operation type, tool type and so on to narrow down the tools in our selection area. To the right you have a detailed tool info. I want to point out that you can control all details of your tools using the tool library button right on the cam ribbon bar. You will see the 16mm tool from our previous adaptive tool path at the top. I will select another cutter for the finishing operation by navigating to the samples area. Here I have a 10mm flat end mill. Let me click once to highlight the tool and click OK. The second tab is geometry. This is where we can select what we want to machine. I am going to select the bottom edge right on our Fusion model. The great thing is. If there is a change later to our model, Fusion 360 will know and you can update the toolpath with a click of a button. You do not have to reprogram your part. Also notice how we have options like creating tabs for fixturing and rest machining that will check the toolpath against tools used in previous operations. The third tab is where you can adjust all your heights. The fourth tab is the passes tab. This has everything to do with the cutter engaged in the material. Here you can change tool compensation and control everything from adding additional passes and stock to leave. The fifth and last tab is all about the cutter not engaged in the material. You have control over such things as lead in and lead out. It does not take much effort in Fusion to create a toolpath. Let me click OK and if I click simulate and play, you will see that we have created a finishing toolpath with just a few clicks. Now before ending this video, let's quickly program this shelf area. I will use the contour toolpath again and since I'm going to use the same tool as in the previous operation, I can skip to the second tab for my geometry selection. I will select the edge of the shelf and Fusion will automatically select tangent edges. A quick tip, if you need specific control over your selections, Fusion will show the selection manager by clicking the same edge twice. I will skip the height tab and move right to the passes tab. I know that I want to add multiple radial passes to this cut to prevent the cutter from cutting with the full width. This is easily done by checking the multiple finishing passes. I will add 3 passes at 3mm step over. Clicking OK and selecting simulate and play and we have confirmed that ease of use is built right into Fusion 360.